let's talk cages. My first setup, honestly, it was gorgeous. Spacious, bright, looked like I was trying to impress HGTV. Also, a total death trap. More for me than for them. I'd have to crawl in and try to avoid their landmines while collecting eggs. I built my pens at two feet, which is on the dangerous side. Luckily, I used hardware cloth, so it has a give and I didn't lose any birds. Here's what I didn't realize. Quail don't jump, they launch, like full body cannonballs. And if your cage is between 24 inches and 6 feet tall, congrats, you've built a neck snapping chamber of doom. One shadow, boom, parkour edition. Every time. So here's what you actually need. If you're doing cages, keep the ceiling under 18 inches. If you're going big, go really big, like 6 feet tall, walk in aviary status, no in between. Use half inch hardware cloth, not chicken wire. I know chicken wire is cheap, so is regret. Give them a dust bath, sand, dry dirt, wood ash, maybe a little diatomaceous earth. They'll roll around like they're on vacation, and it keeps mites off. If you're using wire flooring, throw in a rest tray, something flat like a piece of water tile so they're not standing on wire 24-7. I've seen a lot of people build an enclosure section with a solid floor. They need at least one square foot per bird. And for the love of all things feathered, lock down the top and bottom of your setup. Raccoons, snakes, neighborhood dogs, everyone wants a snack. Don't make it easy. 